So, um, you're probably asking, who is this guy? Well, my name is Neil Sainos, and um, I'm gonna fall in for Card Bandit today, because uh, he cut his fingers off. And basically, um, I am going to teach you a move I've been wanting to make a tutorial for for some time. I, I originally wanted to wait about a month because I wanted to smooth it out a little bit. But now, seeing the good opportunity to just help Guard Bandit out, you might have seen me as the, uh, the winner of the contest, the 1K contest, the video contest, um, which I'm very grateful for. And basically, um, I'm going to teach you whatever. So if you want to go right into this tutorial, please skip to whatever I'll put on screen, maybe an annotation, maybe some text, um, and basically skip to there if you want to go right into this tutorial. But now I'm going to actually explain on where I got the move and how I created it and the time spans and stuff. So good luck. Um, when I was four months into cardistry, I'm now a year into cardistry. I um, made this spinning intro, like that, and uh, my original thought was I could do this, and then with my ring finger clip it like that, just like I did here, but it was a stupid idea. So yeah, I just thought, well, I'll get better in cardistry later on, so I can just better do it later on. So about two months later, I think, I um, right after I learned uh, Faced by Tobias Levin, I got into this movement, and that's basically the middle part of the move. And then about a month later or something, I came up with the closer. I liked the move, but uh, I was very busy with school, so I couldn't really, um, like, uh, practice the move a lot, which was a negative for me, and I kind of forgot about the move after I was done with school, so uh, I recently started picking it up again, and uh, that's why the move still looks a little bit choppy, but um, I just thought Card Bandit needs some content right now and I can give him something so um, so yeah it's kind of a move that was inspired by Faced obviously and it was kind of my idea of wanting to have a move that kind of had this shaking hands motion because it also has in like other moves like um, Scozy by Elliot Slevin you can see that um, my hands shake a lot and that's a really nice flowing motion. So right now I'm gonna go into the tutorial and I hope you enjoy. Let's start with the opener of the move. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go with your left hand, you're gonna go in straddle grip like this and um, your index finger is gonna move to this side here. So to the right top side and then your thumb of your right hand here is going to go to the left bottom side. Just like that you put, pick up a packet and your index finger here of your right hand is going to spin this packet. And then right here, this is actually pretty hard to like show with my camera, but since now your index finger is on the bottom of this packet here, you can grab a packet off of here. Since you're straddle grip, you can let it like this, kind of um, lift it up a little bit. So when you lift up this back with an index finger, you want to let it pass the packet that is now held with the corner. So you want to let it pass there, just like this. And then you want to go down again which will automatically turn um, this packet, the, the corner packet, which allows you to grab it with your pinky finger, just like this. And you still have this packet, you don't clear it here, 
you just hold it and now the major regrip is going to come so your ring finger or middle finger sorry is going to come to the right top corner and your thumb of your left hand is going to come to the left bottom corner just like that so that's the intro or the opener let's get into the most fun part of the flourish which is the middle part which has a very nice display it's not very apparent but it kind of has a square um, shape to it it's not going to be a very cool middle part or a cool um, display I mean but whatever let's get into it so uh, after you've done this weird wacky kind of um, spinny thing here <laughs> the opening you're gonna go with your left hand, middle finger, you're gonna go to the left side of this packet, which you hold, hold with these two fingers, with your thumb and, and, uh, and middle finger. Right here, you're gonna go to the left side here, with your middle finger, and you're gonna, just like this, get it to the back of your left hand. And now, while you do this, or actually when you're here, when you've done that, then when you're at the back of your left hand, what you're gonna do here is your um, your packet, your big back here, uh, which is in straddle grip now, is going to pivot out like this. Basically, you can hook this packet on these three fingers. So basically, your middle finger, ring finger, and pinky finger, just like that which allows you to, if you do this, and then do that, you can put this packet here, behind, like that. As you can see, so you're basically rocking the packet like that. Again, when you um, do this here, middle finger up here, straddle grip hang thing and let it drop like that this should be pretty smooth all right index finger here you're gonna go to the um, left top side here of the of the packet here it's gonna spin it like that so your index finger of your right hand is gonna spin it like that while you do that you're gonna do a scissor cut with your left hand uh, this is important here. Normally you do a scissor cut with the top of your uh, thumb because that's the most comfortable. However, it's a lot easier if you do it kind of with this knuckle here because then you'll have some space. It's going to be a lot more comfortable. As you can see, while you are going to spin this, you're going to go to the bottom here and you're going to scissor cut which is gonna do the second spin. So basically you wanna learn that, or you, you can still be like here, but it's gonna be pretty uncomfortable with like trying to turn a packet. When you do, while you do scissor cut, your index finger here is gonna go to the bottom of this packet of your right hand, index finger of right hand is gonna go to the bottom here. It's gonna turn this packet half, so it's basically gonna twist it half like that. Then you're going to do a scissor cut and basically do this together and which allows this packet here, which is the other side of the scissor cut basically, to touch this packet which allows it to spin like that. I'll show you how that looks like in slow motion a bit. just like that. So that shouldn't be too hard. Now we'll get into the display of the move. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna again go here, but instead of um, spinning it again, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a card off of it. Now this is pretty knacky. So basically, 
after the scissor cut, you're gonna grab a card, which is gonna in turn lead to the display. display. So, uh, your middle finger is gonna go to the top, and your ring finger is gonna go to the bottom. And you're just gonna press very hard against each other. So, your middle finger and ring finger are gonna press against each other, which will allow you to grab a card like this. So, um, with that card, you're going to do a display. And um, so, the display you're going to be doing with that one card is pretty simple. Um, what is going to happen here, when you grab the card like that, you're going to put your middle finger over your ring finger, just like this. So it's going to spin the card open like that. And now what you're going to do is you're going to spin this packet again like you did. Uh, I think the second thing you have to do is spin it right here. But you have to, like, you're with your index finger, right index finger, just do this again. And while you do that, you move your hands towards each other so that they're kind of perpendicular to each other. Which will create kind of this square display, but your hand is in front, or your fingers are in front of the top packet. So it looks like this. It's just a quick display, and make sure to not break motion in this um, display. Because that's very important. You don't want to lose motion uh, in a move. Especially not this move. So like that, you can first do this. This is what I like to do. Just do a short kind of half display like that and then go down again with your right hand and spin it just like that so this is pretty knack and pretty weird but i hope you can understand this so what's gonna happen now is your um as you can see your ring fingers on top here what you're gonna do is you're gonna just drop the packet on the to the deck so now we're going to go into the ending of the flourish. There's also um, an additional uh, kickflip if you want to do and add that to the move. But um, basically I'm going to quickly explain the kickflip real quick. Uh, I can't do it very well. but. Basically what you'll be able to do is, if you hold the packet that's in the middle here, the main packet, if you hold it very loosely, you can go with your um, index finger and kick it about like a full spin. I can't do it, but you know, it, it's optional. See, I did a half there. And now let's get into the actual uh, ending. So you can do a kickflip with it. However, I still have to develop this. Um, so what you're going to do with the ending is very simple. What you're going to do with your uh, packet hand or just left hand, you're just going to go over with your uh, middle finger and contact um, the left top side of this packet. And then what you're going to do is right here, you're going to move this packet like that against your um, skin of your hand, just like that which will allow you to put it onto your skin. So now you have your middle finger who's uh, what is on the top packet, uh, the top uh, left side of the packet. And um, at the right bottom side, it's uh, on to here, onto your skin of your left hand. Now what you're gonna do, is you're gonna actually go to the bottom of this packet here with your right hand. With all your fingers, you're gonna push and you're gonna, at the same time, you're gonna kinda do this with your hand. So, it's kinda like that. And what's gonna be nice, if, if you bend the packet, both the packets that you have right now, if you bend them a little bit, it's gonna kinda create this circular motion. And what you're basically gonna do with this rotating thing is you're gonna drop the packet that you have here. So you rotate it and drop the packet there. 
as you can see. Now you are going to um, spin this packet back. So you're basically going to reverse that motion. So you want to put your fingers again onto the side of here and revert that motion. We're going to just revert that motion and um, basically you're going to end in the, uh, I think it's sideways scissor cut, I don't know what it's called. However, uh, first you did this, so you did the full spin and then here you're just going to reverse that spin and now what, you can, what you'll be able to do with your index finger and thumb, you'll be able to pick up this packet like that to the side with your left hand and what you'll be able to do is an easy scissor cut or just a sideways scissor cut with the side of the packet just like that you'll be able to do a scissor cut and um, basically that's the move but what I like to add to the move is a little um, finger flourish sounds very weird and it kind of is but um, the finger flourish, basically what happens here is when you grab this packet like that, you can like turn your left hand like this to the side and your fingers can do a weave like that. So again, like this, you can do that. That's what I like to do and it, it really ends the, the flourish with you know, something unique to this move. And you can do this, or you can either not do this. It doesn't really matter. Just like that. So that's, that's how it looks like. So now let's get into some tips. Now let's get into some tips of the move. So it's the most important thing in this move is obviously practice but what I want to encourage you all is that this move every move what you're gonna do in cardistry it's not based on how long your fingers are how thick your fingers are it's maybe gonna be harder if you have shorter fingers but it's really about motion motion is the most important thing in cardistry so you want to keep that in mind and basically uh, now let's get into some tips on the move so at the beginning I said I wanted to create kind of a shaky hand motion thing and that's really what's going on. If you, if you look at the flourish without cards it's it's about this and then that basically. So it's shaking your hands a lot. Um, so it's very important that you move your hands a lot because your hands uh, are an important asset in this move. It's kind of like they're part of the flourish. Uh, this is kind of abstract and weird, but really try to create your own motion with it. Try to play around with the middle part of the flourish, which will really improve the motion and the look of this flourish. Secondly, um, you want to really look at how many cards you pick up here. If you pick up a lot of cards like this, the spinning is going to be very uncomfortable. So you want like this back at size. Uh, I don't know how many cards there are, but you, you just have to play around with it and just look at what's comfortable for you. So those were basically the tips. Now I'm going to go into the ending or just, just the closing of this video. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this four card bandit is because I won those cards and because his finger, you know, was kind of, you know, it's, it's not very good for his channel if he has to take a break for two weeks. So I thought I'd make a tutorial for him that would be beneficial to my channel, of course, too. Um, so my channel is Niels Heinos. Um, probably link it down below. And basically, what I do is I do a lot of tutorials, but I also do um, mostly performance videos. And these performance videos I try to keep in on the theme and on the really poppy editing. So if you like that sort of stuff, then check it out. 
Um, you don't have to, obviously, but I'm just telling you who I am. So if you enjoyed this video, please like this video for Car Bandit's sake. Um, so basically, thank you all for listening and watching, and I hope you can um, actually look at the move and really, really adapt it and really get in your mind how it works. And lastly, if you have trouble with this move, um, you can always contact me on YouTube, Instagram, whatever. And um, basically what you can do is you can just say, hey, can, can you please show me another angle, for another view of the move? Um, so that I can personally teach it to you. So basically, I hope you enjoyed um, this flourish, I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, basically, take care.